This is the second video on the survey assignment. Uh, on the first video we did get as far as creating the big table, and the big table here is the four column ten row table that has a space in the fourth column to put the mini tables. The mini tables were these areas here where the respondent would say strongly agree, agree, neutral, etc. in response to each of the statements. Now the mini table here, let's click over here, there's the mini table has been selected here and it shows that there's a table inside a table. If we look down on the next page, and you have this on your printout as well, you can see that the mini table is a series of wide columns, narrow column, wide column, narrow column, on a table that sits inside the cell, center center, inside the cell of the larger table. So, one thing I'd just like to point out before we get started on this, is this text is qu quite obviously smaller than the text out here. This text here, if we highlight it and we go up to the home menu, you can see that it's eight point text. And the eight point text will be small enough to still be read, yet it can text wrap and fit inside one of these small tables. So, we'll put that off to the side so we can keep an eye on it and let's go to the big table and let's enter one of these tables. So we go to the insert menu, we go to table, and we choose 9 by 2. And the 9 by 2 table that shows up spans the entire width of the large, uh, of column 4 of the larger table. And you've got all the cells uh, same width as well as same height. First thing I'd like to do is I'm going to select the entire mini table by clicking on the anchor. And I'm going to go to the home menu and change it to 8 point. So now my my table is a little bit smaller, that's okay. I am now going to change every second column so that's more narrow. So we've got wide, narrow, wide, narrow, wide, narrow, etc. I uh, probably have some space to play with here. I'm just going to widen each of the wide columns as well. We've got that space, we might as well use it. And I'm going to, this table right now takes up a very thin slice of the, of the larger table, so I'm going to take up some more space here, and I'm going to set rows to even. And now I've got the basics of my table. So I can type in the text. and the text has to be center centered as well and that's easily done by highlighting and going to cell alignment after right clicking. So now we have the basics of the table um, you can see that it does have its border around uh, every cell and we're going to change that. Remember here that we're aiming for this look, uh, this look here where you have a box underneath the words but no other border showing in the inside table, in the mini table so let's select the mini table and we're going to get rid of all the borders we've done this in an assignment before no border we have to remember where the borders were because they're invisible now we can't see them and we'll select outside border click in the cell outside border click in the cell outside border okay mini table has been created the only thing now I have to do is get that mini table to sit in the middle of the cell of column 4 of the large table. Right now it's up in the top left. That's not what I'm after. So, if I select this table, actually, if I select all these cells and I decide to, to set the alignment to center center, this is what happens. You can see that I've set them all to center center, but this table has not cooperated. It's centered vertically, but it is not centered horizontally. There's more space here than there is here. The reason behind that, and it, this shouldn't happen, but it does, and it's I, I would describe it as a deficiency in Word. The horizontal alignment of the inside table is actually a property of the inside table itself, not the outside table. Just to say that again. The outside table, or the large table, normally if you want to position text, or, or as we saw in the planets assignment, if we want to position images 
uh, center centered or center left or what have you, it would be a property of that table, the outside table. And we would just right click on it, we would go to cell alignment and we would choose one. With a table inside a table, it's a property of the inside table as to whether it's left or right or center. So we select the inside table, right click on it, and we go to table properties and under table properties we can choose center alignment. And now that table is going to be horizontally centered and because we've set these cells in column 4 to center center it will also be vertically centered. Now that this is done I can select it, I can copy it, I'm just going to go control C with my keyboard, click in the next one, control P, V to paste, V to paste, V to paste. And you can see that the last four are not horizontally, are they're not vertically centered because I didn't get around to actually setting the cell alignments for those. There we go. Now they're vertically centered, and the inner tables are done. We'll finish this off in the next video.